All right, we're here with the legend, Gilbert Arenas. Appreciate you, you know, father of Elijah. You know, you took an untraditional route going to Chatsworth. I actually love it because he's playing every position as a freshman. You know, what went into that decision? Um, you know, it was, it was real research. You know, I was, you know, following, you know, all the superstars. Where did they come from? What was their high school experience? Were they on super, you know, super teams? And I found that the super team kids, when they get to that next level, they're just perfect role players because they've never actually had to do it themselves because they were used to, you know, playing with other, even though they're Bugattis as individuals, they've never learned how to rub their engine fully. So what ends up happening is when they go to, you know, an NBA or a college, and there's a player who's been carrying this team by himself, he becomes the alpha male. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, instead of teaming them up with, you know, these superstars trying to win, let him learn how to be a killer first. You know, so that's why, you know, I went to, back to the old ways. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, so I love it. It's back to the old ways. The, the private school and the teaming up is this new, it's new basketball. Yeah, exactly, and that's what I love. Uh, one thing that I really stuck out, you know, he had 46 today, but he was playing, you know, playing the one, kicking the ball up early too, mm -hmm. then getting it back, cutting, doing things like that. Is that something that you've been talking to yeah, about? Yeah, I've been telling them like to just to save energy, throw the ball up. Like, you know, you throw it up, you know, if your teammates got an early shot, they can shoot it, they're gonna give it right back to you. Yeah. And then from there, you know, once the defense shifts, then you can attack instead of trying to attack it head on all the time. Um, but, you know, when we talked about the upside, the upside is it's this, as a freshman, you're gonna average about 30. You're gonna have about 10 rebounds. You're gonna have about three blocks, three steals. That stat line right there puts you above, <laughs> you know, your peers. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, just the overall game. You have, you're gonna be an overall better player because you have to do everything. You have to do everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the only way your team survives is if you do everything. So you have to rebound. You have to defend. You have to steal the ball. You have to pass the ball. You have to score. And that, you know, now you put so much on. Now you become that LeBron James type of all-around player. Yep, and you know, you were sitting next to Lucas, it kind of reminded me the same thing because I've been following Elijah a little bit these last couple of months. Talking about like kids, a lot of times they do a lot of drill work, but they don't play. Elijah plays in adult leagues mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. you know, and how do you feel like that helps his game instead of just drilling all the time, you know? You gotta remember, you know, when you're, when you're drilling, it looks great until there's a defender in front of you. It's just like shadow boxing. All of it looks great. You know, you look all fast until there's another person swinging back at you. Yeah. You know, that's what drills are. There's no defender teaching you how to perfect it. Mm -hmm. You know, so usually the best, the best trainers, we're going to drill it, then we're going to test it out. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to tweak it for your body size for this, and then, you know, go back to the lab. And that's really the things. Like, all these moves you do, you have to put it against the kids now, and then adults. You gotta remember, the, the, the adults is really gonna test that move. You know, so if you can't get it off against them, then you might wanna start adjusting it. Because, yeah, you might get it off against this, this 12, 15 year old, but if you can't get it off against this elite, all your moves should be for elite defenders and elite players. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's basically the, 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 the concept of, you know, when we're, you know, looking at stuff, you know, it's, it's cool right now, but you're trying to perfect the move for that next level. Like the Lucas, the Kobe Bryants, they were playing against adults at this age. You know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't, they wasn't worrying about who's the top 15 and 16 year old. Nah, they were, they were worrying about adults. You know, I need to get to this adult level. I need, you know, Lucas playing against Boston, you know, at 14, 15, you know, that's, 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 that's what you're following. You're not worrying about you know, your high school peers. You're worrying about, you know, when you get to go see Trey Young, you know, when you, you know, you played against Luka and, and John Moran. It's a whole different beast of players. Yep. And, um, you know, you talked a little bit about what you told Elijah afterwards, even in that 40 plus point game. You know, what are some things you told him about, you know, helping his team and getting that win and in that last five minutes? You know, you know, I, I took, you know, this is way back because before he wasn't pushing that ball up. <laughs> he was not pushing the ball up. Yeah. And I told him, you know, it's it's a disguise when you pass it up. You know, you pass it up, they get to touch it. You know, you know, players, no matter, listen, when it gets tight, they're gonna always give you the ball. They're gonna give the best player the ball. But you want them to feel part of it. 
you know, so when they get the rebound, of course, they're going to throw it to you. But throw it up sometimes. Let the defense move. You get it back. You make your moves. They're feeling comfortable. If they're open, they're going to take those shots. So, you know, no matter what the talent looks like. And then I had, a, I had like five of them yesterday at the house. And I said, you guys have to get better individually. You guys got to work on your shots individually. You got to work on your defense. You got to work on your passing, your dribbling as individuals. You know, because he... My son can't make you better. You can't make him better. You guys, you guys can't make each other better. Mm -hmm. What you do is you individually get better and you guys are great together. But no matter if you're not practicing your shooting and he passes the ball 50 times and you go over 50, that's you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if, you, if, you, if you, uh, you're working on your shot and you make all 50, you're making him look good. It looks like he knows what he's doing, but it's you. You're, 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 you're training and practicing on your individual skills. You know, that next level is about individual skills. Mm -hmm. Working on your individuals to help. Like when you look at somebody like Jordan Poole and you say, how is Jordan Poole so good? Look who he gets to practice with and mimic. Steph Curry. He gets to watch this man. If Steph Curry takes 300 shots today, he's going to take 300 shots. If Steph, do, like he, he gets to mimic the best shooter the planet has ever seen. So if he gets to watch this every day, he's gonna naturally get better. And that's what it is. He gets to work just like him. Oh, I get to see what he's looking at. This is what he's doing. And you, you, you're following the blueprint of success. Yeah. yeah, I love that. And then last, you know, you've been with Core Prep for you know a while, tournament is here. What are some things that you know, throughout you and Todd's relationship that you've seen for Core Prep and how has it helped Elijah too as well? You know, it's amazing, you know, I've, I, I think it was before, I don't know if he's had core prep the whole time, but <laughs> we're talking about 2012, 13, when he used to train, you know, train me, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, you know when, when, when I found out about core prep, it was like, hell yeah, Elijah gonna go there, because I know he has an a NBA trainer, someone who trained me, Karan, and you know, most of the guys who was uh, training um, at the time, was it 2013, 14? Impact, yeah. yeah, when they was doing impact, you know, mm -hmm. all those NBA players and, mm -hmm. you know, he's out there training them. So, you know, the program now is training kids with that NBA mindset. It was my daughter goes here now <laughs> yeah, that's fine. and then my son is going to be here next <laughs> yeah, year. That's right. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's one of those things where if you have a, a, a child that's in middle school and they're not in and they're not in core, they're not here at Heritage, you're you're at a disadvantage. You're, you're at a real disadvantage because you're getting pro like individual training to help you get to high school mm. you know what i mean and i think that's what the key is like and anybody asks me where where to go to mills go to corporate sure. <laughs> todd is over there i've sent so many people go to todd mm. you know because you're getting you're getting that individual skill work that you need you know the the discipline you're getting the discipline and, and understanding how to work for that next level Appreciate it, my dog. All right, so we're here with 6'4 freshman Elijah Arenas. Um, just talk a little bit about the game today. Well, the game was really competitive. I feel like we could have came back and pulled it off. They played a very well game. They had some wide open shots. We played hard defense. We went at each other. It was just a great game. You know what's funny is that I can't even give you a position because even as a freshman, you played every position out there. Yeah. You know, what are some things that you, you know, you're learning in your freshman season? You know, I, on this team, I saw it a lot of times in the 2-3 they're bringing a double to you. It wasn't really a natural two, three. Yeah. You're seeing doubles really early. Yeah. So just talk about that. Shoot, well, I feel like that was really surprising. I feel like there was no man the whole time, but like, that was just like really good to me because it's like, I usually get that. Mm -hmm. And I love just the way they play defense because it was hard to get by. So I had a couple steals. They got a couple steals. It was just a great defensive play. Yep, and then you, you know, just playing each position, like, you know, yeah. I just mentioned, um, Playing the one, what's some things that you learn? And one thing I really like is that you're kicking the ball up early. Yeah, is that something fast. you and your pops, yeah, you yeah. and your pops talking about? Yeah, gotta play a little faster, gotta get in conditioning, you know. Just gotta just play with the game. Just trying to learn how to play with that. Yep, and you know, uh, one thing that I've, I've, I've noticed about you is that you know, you play with in a lot of adult leagues. You didn't play a lot of AU. Did you no, play a lot of really, AU? Yeah. I played AU, but I'm, when I got into high school, eighth grade, I started playing with the adults at the loop. Yeah, and how has that helped you? Because like I see you do that a lot. Like that helped me a lot. I learned how to play with how they played. I adapted to them, and I feel like I just keep keep doing that, keep progressing. 
Yeah. And um, what are some things you learned about Chatsworth? I love that you're going to school here, not taking the traditional route, playing with stacking teams. What are some things that is helping your game, you know, playing at Chatsworth and learning? It's just fun. I got new guys, you know, we don't really know each other, not really a connection. So we just got to build that, and I feel like we can become a team. And what are some things you want to, you know, help, you know, what are some things that you want your game to grow with, you know, to as well? Well, I feel like I can figure that out as as long as I just keep playing, just keep figuring out what I got to do. And plus, I'm playing these great teams in the Valley. I feel like I can do that. I love it. Love it. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, dog.